Katie. In today's video, we're gonna vlog. We're gonna hang out together probably for the whole weekend because it's Friday afternoon right now. So it might be a little weekend vlog, party time. I wanted to start now because I just got a package in the mail that I'm very, very excited about and I wanna show you. So, first of all, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know this, um, but A, these are very good gluten-free cookies and they're made in the Hamptons on Long Island, which is very cool, but B, I know how to crochet and knit and stuff. And so uh, my mom mentioned that my niece wanted some blankets for her dolls. So I made her a couple, but I bought a bunch of yarn um, to, you know, make other things for other people, uh, potentially sell some things. I have a couple crochet hooks and I have a bunch of yarn, but I wanted to get a couple more crochet hooks and I decided to buy one more thing as well from Amazon. Um, so this is just like where I've been sitting, watching friends and crocheting the last couple days. So this is a bunch of crochet hooks that I got that I will open up and show you in a second. But this, you guys, I'm gonna start making friendship bracelets. And I am so excited about it. Um, I got, it's called embroidery floss, but it's really just, you know, like thick thread, kind of like string. And do you guys remember, you know, like 20 years ago when everyone used to make friendship bracelets? So I wanted to buy this just to have some stuff to do so I'm not like just sitting around watching TV all the time. I wanted to, you know, get back into doing crafty things because I used to love crafts. Hold on, let me show you my face again. But yeah, so I used to be super crafty when I was younger and I really enjoyed it, like any arts and crafts stuff. Um, I used to, when I was really young, I would draw a lot and color and paint and uh, I would build model cars. And then when I was a little bit older, I got into knitting and crocheting and uh, sewing stuff. I had a sewing machine and I used to like sew. I remember I sewed, I was probably like 21 and I came up with this idea with one of my really good friends um, to make rectangular stuffed animals so that they can stack. And so I made like a couple prototypes that like my niece actually still plays with now. So I used to be crafty in that way, um, but just kind of got out of it. And then when my mom mentioned that my niece wanted a blanket for her dolls, I was like, yep, I'm just gonna get back into crocheting because I wanted to find a couple more hobbies, you know, um, and something to do while I'm watching TV. So I'm not just like scrolling through Instagram. I wanted to do something fun and crafty and creative and productive. And so I picked up uh, crocheting again and then I'm really excited that I got the friendship bracelet I know that it's such like like I know that some stuff like that might seem like oh that's for kids it's like but who cares if you enjoy it who cares if it's for adults or for kids or for grandmas like a lot of people think that knitting and crocheting is I'm glad that I'm starting to do these things because I don't know about you guys I don't know about you but if you're being really honest with yourself how much are you on your phone? If you pick up your phone right now, if you have an iPhone at least, I, I'm sure Androids do it as well, but there's like a little screen that will tell you how much time you spend on your phone per day. You guys, mine is embarrassing. Mine's embarrassing. I know that some of my work has to do with my phone, but still, it's embarrassing. And it's not productive and it doesn't make me feel good just scrolling through Instagram and checking my email every 10 minutes. Like I don't need to do that. So I wanted to find something that was going to take up my time, but in a productive and positive and creative and fun way. Uh, you know, I don't want my hobby to be scrolling through Instagram. I don't want to go on a, on a date or a, a virtual date or however people date now. And uh, someone asks, what are your hobbies? And I say, scrolling through Instagram and watching TV. I don't want that to be what I say, you know? So we talk about this all the time. I think it's important to be self-aware and uh, figure out what about you you like and what you don't like and then do what you can to change what you don't like. So I did not like that my hobby was scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> so I picked up crocheting again and I'm so excited to do friendship bracelets too. But for now, I'm gonna go uh, open all that stuff because I'm really, really excited <laughs> and I'll show you guys later what I end up making. Okay, so remember in that earlier clip, everything was just like sprawled across the couch. I put it all in this bag for now. I think I might get an actual proper crochet bag that has like different compartments for the yarn and for the hooks and if I get some knitting needles and stuff. So here's like all the yarn and stuff that I have so far and then here's the friendship bracelet thread and I'm so excited about this. But anyway, these are the blankets that I've made so far. I have this one. I think this is my favorite one. And these are just for like little dolls. And then I have this one. And this one is ombre because the yarn that I bought 
is like an ombre yarn here. It's kind of like this, so it comes in all different colors. So when you knit or crochet, it'll turn ombre, which I think is really, really cool. I got all this yarn at Walmart, by the way. And then, yeah, this one, and then just a straight up pink one. And this one's a little thicker. Um, it's obviously like the doll's winter blanket, but yeah. So those are some of the things that I've made so far. It's so fun. It's like, I really liked crocheting when I was younger and then I did it a little bit like in my 20s still and I thought it was boring, but now that I've re-picked it up again, also the dishwasher's on if you hear that, um, but now that I picked it up again recently, it's like fun again. Um, and I like to do pretty basic patterns because I don't want to have to think too much about it. So it's just something, you know, to keep my hands busy um, and I can, you know, put friends on TV and it's just like a fun little night. So I've been kind of doing that the last couple nights. And then, oh, here's that little bag that I got all these crochet hooks and I bought ones because I do have arthritis in my hands. And so I bought these with like these handles that are supposed to be a little bit better for people who have arthritis. I don't know if you can see, I don't know what it's focusing on, but so it came with a bunch of them and you know, like a little counter and some needles and a tape measure and stuff like that. And this was only like 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon. And then this was like 20 or 25 on Amazon, but it came with all this thread and like scissors and a little pin cushion and some needles and stuff. Oh, so maybe this didn't come with needles and that did. I forget, or maybe they both did, I don't remember. But I do think I'm gonna get like a proper bag for all this stuff, but for now, I'm just keeping it in here so it's not completely messy and sprawled across the couch. So yeah. That's what I've made so far, and then I'm so excited to get into the friendship bracelets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so fun. Hey guys, so it is a different day, <laughs> and I just want to say hi. Um, yesterday was a fun day. I went to Arrington Vineyards, which is like right outside Nashville, and I didn't take any footage. <sighs> I didn't take any footage, but I did take a picture or two that I'll pop up on the screen here, but it was really cool. Um, and they had a ton of outdoor seating that was super spread out. Um, and it was just, it was a beautiful place. And I know that a lot of you guys live around Nashville. So let me know if you've ever been there. And also let me know other wineries or vineyards in the Nashville area that you guys like, because I haven't really been to many vineyards like ever in the whole country, which is crazy because I'm from Long Island and there's a ton out there, but I've just kind of never really been. So let me know if you guys have any like favorite vineyards or wineries out here because maybe I'll go check them out but yeah so I did that yesterday which was fun and today's gonna kind of be a chill day I'm really really tired today like really tired today so probably gonna chill out for a little bit but I still wanted to say hi Oh, one more thing quickly. I just wanted to let you guys know that if I ever mention that I bought something from Amazon, more often than not, I'm gonna have it linked in my Amazon recommended link, which is in my description of every single video. And so I'm gonna have the crochet hooks and everything linked in there if you wanted to check them out. Um, it is an affiliate link just to be uh, open with you guys about that. But if you ever wanna see something that I mentioned I bought from Amazon, the link will be in my description to be able to go to the Amazon page to see everything that I talk about or that I've mentioned or that I would recommend to you guys. Just wanted to let you know. It's been said There's a cure for a heavy head Heaven forbid it Instead I wanna make it safe to go to bed Alright, so Put the pizza in the air fryer <laughs> I've never done that before So we'll see how it comes out But this is the pizza that I've never had this before But I mean, it's gluten free It has a lot of cheese on it, which is good um, And it's a little pizza So that'll be good for breakfast Because it's, you know, 9.30 A.K.A. pizza time I am nervous that this is not gonna work, but we'll see. So far, so good. Hmm. I really love when companies try to make pizza seem healthy. Oh, I'm eating those protein, essential nutrients. Thank you. This is making me feel much better for eating this for breakfast. Calcium and vitamin A, come on. Super essential. Cooking instructions. Skipping those, put it in an air fryer, see what happens. Okay, so it was in the air fryer for like 10 minutes. Uh, mildly burned the cheese a little bit. That's totally okay. I wanna see if the, like I wanna make sure that the crust is cooked and then I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Right 
it's pretty good. It tastes very similar to a pizza boat that you'd get in like third grade. Yeah, I'm all for this. Imagine if everyone ate pizza like this. New trend, guys, let's start it. That's really good. Wow, that's surprisingly good, actually. The crazy thing is that I went on like a really, really big grocery shop the other day and got so much healthy food. Nope, Katie Carney needs pizza for breakfast. It's okay, we'll just eat healthier later. It's all about balance, right? And this is good. And you know, has 18 grams of protein and essential vitamins or essential nutrients, so. <laughs> That's really good. Like surprisingly good. It tastes like a pizza boat. Like the French bread pizza. That's what it tastes like. Really good. Cool. Thank you, Life Cuisine. I mean, I bought this, but thank you for making a good pizza. Alright, I'm gonna eat. Talk to you guys in a second. You can't get and I can't get the taste of you off my palate. Makeup's done. You guys know this is my favorite, one of Brett's songs. Um, I have his record. Can you see that it's white? It's very cool. It's also a little wobbly. Anyway, makeup's done. I gotta put some earrings on. I have contacts in today, so. Being real fancy. Um, I had texts, I, I got distracted. I feel like, hold on. So I had someone recently ask like my recent favorite makeup products and maybe I'll do like, do you guys still like favorites videos? Um, I know some YouTubers still do favorites videos and I still like them sometimes depending on who the person is. Um, but let me know if you guys still like those videos because I could do those. I could do like monthly or quarterly favorites, but some makeup that I'm using like nonstop, I'm gonna have everything listed in the description that I use today. But I had someone ask me recently, like what are my some of my favorite recent makeup products? The Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. This is what I used for like my foundation today. I love this. I'm in the color 2.40. What else am I loving? Oh, this that I got in my FabFitFun. Um, if you guys saw that video, what, like a month ago or something, I got this in there and I love this. This is the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow Pencil. I love this. The color is perfect for me and I like the formula. It's one of those thicker eyebrow pencils, but it's so easy to use, so easy. Love that. If you guys saw a video, my like drugstore makeup video that I did a couple months ago, I used this and I still really, really like it. The Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. Um, I don't have the most impressive eyelashes, but this does a really good job. Yeah, so those are some of my favorite products I have been using. And oh, and then let me explain this quickly. This broke and I haven't wanted to like put effort into like putting it in a new pan or anything. So I just kind of like let it sit like this. Um, and then I just have it in a plastic bag. <laughs> this is the Pixie by Petra. What are you called? Natural Contour Powder Shape and Shadow. I got it at TJ Maxx. And it was not broken when I bought it. I don't know what happened. I didn't, I don't, uh, did I drop it? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm going to run a straightener through my hair uh, and throw my earrings on. These are the earrings that I've been obsessed with lately. And they're just these like gold plated, they were probably like 15 bucks, but I love them. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'll talk to you guys in a second. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll talk to you in a second. Well, Hey guys, 
it's a little after three and you guys saw that I had a little quick lunch a couple hours ago. Um, I wanted to kind of like counteract what I ate for breakfast. So I just had some cold cuts and like a little salad. Um, you guys know that I can't eat a lot of vegetables with all my digestive issues, but I can have a little salad or some veggies uh, like every, you know, every couple of days without getting sick. So I had a little salad and some turkey and some cheese and a pickle and, oh, I had the green goddess dressing from like Primal Life or something. I feel like I've seen that being like talked about on Instagram and I've never tried it and I tried it and it's fine. I'm a big ranch girl, but I just wanted to try something different. And that green goddess, is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Um, it tastes okay. It's not my favorite thing I've ever had. It's definitely not bad. It tastes tastes good. Like I'll keep eating it. Um, but I'm I'm a ranch girl through and through. I also really like balsamic vinegar, and I love apple cider vinegar. Like I will drink apple cider vinegar. I freaking love it. But anyway, oh, and I didn't talk during eating lunch because someone was outside, like doing something that was very loud, um, like a weed whacker or something that was really loud. So I just cut the audio. I guess that's just gonna be it for this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, also let me know in the comments any other videos that you wanna see, any suggestions you have or questions that you have. I would love to hear them. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And yeah, you guys are the best. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.